In this video, I'll walk you through creating a simple test and uploading it to AWS Device Farm step by step. You don't need any previous experience with Appium to follow along. I'm using a MacBook to make this video, but the commands in the tutorial are the same whether you're using Windows or Linux. We'll start by installing some necessary components, the PyTest framework, HTML reporter, and the Appium Python client. It's recommended to use a virtual environment during setup. Next, I'll write the test script. While this video isn't an in-depth Appium tutorial, the test itself is quite straightforward. I'll begin by adapting an example script from the Appium documentation, simplifying it slightly. The test essentially involves verifying an element and capturing a screenshot. For more detailed Appium guidance, check out the links provided in the video description. I'll begin by removing unnecessary capabilities and setting the device name to Emulator 5554 for testing with the Android emulator locally. You can confirm the device name using the ADB Devices command. Now, we'll download the BitBar sample app and set the file path accordingly. I'll also add WD Hub to the Appium server's path to ensure compatibility across different Appium versions. Moving on to the test steps, we'll locate an element and confirm that its text is Ask Mom for Help. Finally, I'll capture a screenshot to demonstrate how it's done in an AWS device farm run. The screenshot will be saved as shot.png. Before moving on, we need to address a small issue. The example script is tailored for Appium version 1, but we are using version 2 which handles the loading of capabilities differently. If you're still on version 1, no changes are necessary. With everything set up, we're ready to run the test on a local machine. Open another shell window to run the Android emulator and the Appium server. Once the test passes, we'll review the test report. Mm -hmm. 
Now that the environment is set up, our next task is to package it in a format compatible with the device farm. We'll navigate to the Appium documentation to follow their steps. In essence, we'll clear any cached files, create a requirements.txt file, and then compress everything into a zip file. Now that everything is packaged, we're ready to upload it to the cloud. Now head to the AWS Management Console. AWS offers many services, so if it's your first time, the easiest way is to search for the device farm service. The process from here is quite simple. Create a new project, then a new run within that project. Upload the Bitbar sample app followed by the zipped file we created. After the runs, move the test report and any screenshots to the device log directory. This is a little trick to save time instead of specifying directories by name. By default, the test will run on five mobile devices, which is sufficient for our purposes. The final step is to review the configuration, confirm it, and start the tests. Let's then proceed to view the ongoing run. The test has passed, now let's review the video of the test run and the artifacts. There's the shot.png we took earlier, along with the appium.log, and our test report. I'll open the test report now. In a real-world scenario, you might need to merge several test reports, but in the AWS ecosystem, this is fairly straightforward. Just transfer them all to the same S3 bucket. 
you can provide multiple paths to the HTML reporter as parameters to merge the reports. That concludes our video. I've shown you how to prepare an Appium test for AWS Device Farm. Now, it's your turn to try it out with your own tests. If you encounter any issues, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching.